Hey there, I'm out here in Phoenix, Arizona. It is the middle of June right now, so we're sitting at 97 Fahrenheit for all you European people up there in the corner. That's where it is in Celsius. A company reached out to me named Rambu. They sent a product to me called the Ace Light. From what I understand, I haven't tested this yet. I actually gonna be testing this over the next week. Is this is a neck air conditioner. I've definitely overheated out here in the valley. We get up to 120 Fahrenheit. And some wrapping is medieval on this. Should have brought a knife. So any idea to be able to keep me cool is, I'm definitely on board with that. So we have the Ramvu Ace boxing. Nice, pretty solid little box. Got to me with no damage. All right, and the accessory box. I'd assume this is the USB cable. USB-C type, that's good. And the device itself. Nice, definitely feels like it's it's built pretty sturdy there. All right, let's take the plastic off the screen here. Nice. And see if I can figure out how to turn it on. I believe it is that button there. Okay, to turn it on, it looks like just a quick single press on the button. This one's supposed to be a little bit different from the ones you guys have probably seen in the past. They were just a lot of them to straight neck fans. But out here in Phoenix, that's not going to work out so well for you. You're just going to be blowing 100 degree air on the, yourself, so it's not going to actually cool you down. So this one here has these cooling pads that go all along your neck, and they chill down. They're supposed to chill down, I, I believe, to about 50 Fahrenheit. I'll be testing that out, of course. It says it's currently in AI mode. Supposedly what the AI mode is, is there's a, it's kind of using its CPU, and it's going through an index, looking for what temperature for it to be on the back of your neck would, I can definitely feel them pulling down there. All right, let's try this thing on. I got it on the right way. Yeah, okay, so it's that way pointing down. Ooh. Oh, oh, so, so that is definitely nice. I can feel the cooling plates against my neck. And then, yeah, you can feel air all the way, pretty much up to here coming out. And then on the back, okay, right down the middle, it's trying to blow it down. Like say if you had a collar on your shirt here, it'd be blowing it down. I'm too sure how much you can hear the fan noise there. I believe it's on a high. Not too bad. Actually, it's cutting out a lot of the ambient noise. I got the Loop 101 right behind me. It's quite noisy. The thing never goes to sleep anymore. So <laughs> the ambient's not too bad. I could uh, imagine plugging this thing in and kind of using it as white noise, maybe. I wonder if I could actually sleep on a pillow when I was camping with that. I don't know. I would have to try that out. That would be pretty cool. Let's see what else I can get this to do. Okay, it's got a, it's got a white light on it currently. Oh, turned it off. Single press turns it off. So you hold it down. Ooh, it's got a deep blue now. That looks colder, the deep blue. Let's see what that does. It says C3, whatever C3 stands for. Not sure there. Oh, okay. That's fan speed there. Okay, I think I got it turned down to the lowest. <laughs> I definitely need to read the manual on this thing. Nice, been sitting out here for about 20 minutes now with it on. Got the everything, I think a fan's on high and everything, sitting about uh, 99 degrees there. <laughs> it's definitely uh, getting hot. I think it's scheduled to be like, I don't know, 105, 110 today out. I actually feel, I don't feel sweaty. I feel pretty good just sitting here. So it looks like I got it in the cooling mode. Ooh, it's got a heating mode. Let's not do that right now. Yeah, that would actually could be quite nice camping. If I got cold, I could have the hot hand down in the sleeping bag and then I could put this around my neck. That's one of the other cool features about it is it has, let's see if I can find it. There we go. USB-C uh, power adapter on it. So I could hook this thing right up into my power banks, my e-bike power bank. And wow, it would probably run for <laughs> the next month off that. Let's see how cold we can get it to go. Cooling 82, no, we're just, that beeping's quite loud. So it says I can go down to 61 Fahrenheit on that. And speed, let's just turn that down for recording purposes. Oh, there we go. So I get rid of the beep, silent mode. That's, somebody's already thought of that. Let's see, it still beeps. That's, so clearly silent mode does not make, I have no idea what silent mode. I assume that would make the beeping stop. Let's see if I go into settings. See if I can make that beeping noise stop. Most of the time, it it wouldn't be a problem. You wouldn't be sitting there playing around with the settings constantly on it. 
Let's try something else. Cooling first. All right. The okay, this is definitely working. I'm staying cool sitting here. I'm definitely looking forward to testing this in this next week. Got All right, so the GoPro is overheating, uh, unfortunately. I I feel pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I could actually sit here for quite a while in 100 Fahrenheit with this on. So I'm going to head back to the house. Looks like it stays on pretty well. I mean, yeah, you could be head begging. Still would have come off. I'm sure about running. Um, let's give it a try. Yeah. I think you could run in it too. Hmm, wonder what else I could do with it. <laughs> Let's find out.